Mr. Connor, Billy Principal to Kempsa Harrison Elementary. We are here to celebrate all of our students for working hard with all of our ECA teams. And we are going to start with Mrs. Katie with our primary math and tech. Hi, Tecumseh Harrison, Mrs. Caney here, and K-1 Math Pathathlon coach. I had the honor of coaching 12 champion Math Pathathletes this year. They used their math skills in learning five new games. But more than that, they learned how to be teammates, they learned how to cheer and support each other, and they learned patience and cooperation. I want to thank the parents for their dedication to their child's extracurricular activity every week. I want to thank Mr. Connor for helping me out. I want to thank Mrs. Mullins for her guidance in my first year of this. And I also want to thank Landon Telligman and Levi Caney for their help. Um, I'm very proud of my champion pentathletes and their dedication to practicing twice a week for two months. So without further ado, congratulations to our kindergarten champion pentathletes, Lily Boggs, Luke Telligman, Constance Popa, Avery Luckenbill, Javen Bowles, and Austin Corliss. Congratulations to our first grade champion math athletes, Oliver DeMora, Brian Kaiser, Clara Moore, Tatum Connor, Owen Speth, and Reed Schotter. I enjoyed being your coach this year, and I hope you will continue to be in math pentathlon and have a great summer. Okay, thank you Mrs. Caney and for the primary math and pathology team for all your work. We're now going to move on to Mrs. Taylor with our junior math and pathology. Hey Tecumseh Harrison, it's Mrs. Taylor here and I am here to congratulate my second and third grade math and pathology team. Uh, I was blessed to be able to coach the first, second, and third grade team we've had for many, many years. And um, so I had 12 students who participated on the team. We were able to uh, practice for about two months and usually we learn about five games. They were able to learn three of them. So I'm looking forward to next year when we get to learn them all. And so they worked really hard. We practiced after school once a week and they practice a lot of their math skills and learn cooperation and, and participating. So I wanna kind of take the time to uh, recognize those students today. And so here was my list, so congratulations to you. Uh, in second grade, I had Pascal Norton and Walker Jennings, Adel uh, Andalyn Heath, uh, Nate Baker, Nyla Moore, and Owen Schotter. So congratulations to my second graders. And my third graders were Caden Jackson, Isaiah Crockett, Graham Marshall, Kiara Telligman, Colin Combs, and Wesley Eaton. Those are my third graders. So congratulations, second and third grade math and tathlon team, and I loved being your coach. I can't wait to see what we get to do next year. Congratulations to you. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Taylor, and our junior math and tathlon team for all your hard work. We are now moving on to our fourth and fifth grade where the competition is math and tathlon team. Welcome to Mr. Quarter. Hi, I'm Mr. Quarterman, and this year I got to serve as the 4th and 5th grade math pentathlon coach. Um, we had a great time learning these math pentathlon activities and games that we were, we were training very hard to compete for in 4th and 5th grade. Unfortunately, we weren't able to compete in Indianapolis like we have been in years past. However, our students are still receiving an honorary math pentathlete uh, ribbon from the folks at the Math Pentathlon organization. And, and even though we didn't compete, you guys are very deserving of this of this acknowledgement and um, and you'll also be receiving a certificate from the school just to acknowledge your participation with math pentathlon. I want to take a second and just thank a few adults who were very helpful um, to our students and myself this year. This is Megan Telligman who's one of our parents and she's also a teacher at the school. She took time to to meet with us at most of our rehearsals and she spent time at home uh, learning the games and playing the games and just trying to to be better at them so that she could help monitor our students and help them in, in times that they would need help learning the games. Uh, Mrs. Janet Tellingman, who is a retired teacher in the Vincennes School, she also is, she's a grandparent of one of our students, and she also took time out of her day to come in after school for most of our practices and, and again, learn the games and, and try to just help our students be more successful. I also wanna thank Mrs. Tabler, who is the previous fourth and fifth grade math pentathlon coach, 
who was really instrumental in, in helping me and making sure I knew how to to be the best coach that I could for our fourth and fifth grade students. She came in a couple times and, and helped and, and I just, I'm really indebted to her for, for um, how successful our, our learning was this year. We had a group of fourth and fifth graders who worked really hard and practiced after school for actually quite a few months um, once a week and, and took a lot of their time. The first group I wanna acknowledge are our fourth graders. I'm very hopeful that we're gonna to get to work together again next year and hopefully compete in Indianapolis. Our fourth grade pentathletes are Landon Teligman, Maggie Berry, Gage Williams, Evan Miller, Garrett Duke, Roxy Cox, James Taylor, Elsa Aldifer, and Savannah Harmon. Our fifth grade pentathletes, unfortunately they're not gonna be able to go with us next year if we compete, but they were very helpful to us uh, they worked really hard. They showed the fourth graders um, just uh, they, they led with example and maturity. And and I was really happy with um, with their participation this year um, at our practices. So our fifth grade pentathletes were Dale Webster, Bryce Quinnett, Briley Quinnett, Olivia Eaton, and Brock Francis. Again, the kids did a great job. I was very proud to be their coach, and I'm very sorry we didn't get to compete this year. Um, but I had a lot of fun working with them and um, hoping next year we get to do what we, uh, what we train to do. Thank you, and you guys have a great summer. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Quarterman, and to the competition uh, math and Tathlon team. I know we didn't get to, unfortunately, get to compete this year, but I know you guys have just got started. We do appreciate uh, putting forth the energy and effort there. And we are going to move on now to Mrs. Schotter and Mrs. Alford with our student council. Hello, Mrs. Schotter here. Uh, Mrs. Alford and I have the privilege of working with our student council at Tecumseh Harrison. Our student council consists of third, fourth, and fifth grade students that show um, some kind of leadership skills, that they're usually responsible, they're kind to everyone, and they're um, super helpful in the classroom. Um, a couple of the things we did this year um, were a hat day that we raised money for um, the Salvation Army. We also did a mac and cheese drive that we donated um, all of that to the Salvation Army. Uh, the kids came up with some dress up days which they really tend to like because um, it's like the pajama day and the crazy sock day. Um, we also packed food bags for um, the Backpacks of Love program. Um, that's the program that the students can take home um, for food, with extra food on the weekend. Um, and we also rang bells for the Salvation Army in December. Um, that always is a fun one too. So um, without further ado, here is here are our student council members. Here Mrs. Alford. Thanks, Mrs. Schotter. Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Alford. I am going to read off our names for our wonderful student council members for this school year. Um, these third, fourth, and fifth graders um, are recognized for their hard work that they helped us with projects out in the community and projects in our school building as well. So without further ado, I will start with third grade. Um, we would like to recognize Riley Goforth, Wesley Eaton, Bronx Carter, Caden Jackson, Ella Wonky, Sebastian Sharon. For fourth grade, Evan Miller, Roxy Cox, Maggie Berry, Landon Telligman. And for fifth grade, Marlo Thorne, Alexis Bailey, Olivia Eaton, and Cohen Davis. Thank you so much to those third, fourth, and fifth graders that helped us this year with student council. Take care, bye. Okay, thank you Mrs. Schotter and Mrs. Alford and to the student council members for all they have done throughout the year. And we are now going to move into Spell Bowl with Mrs. Tabler. Hey Tecumseh Harrison, it's Mrs. Tabler uh, coming to you to recognize my Spell Bowl team. Even though it's uh, 2020, we participated in Spell Bowl in 2019, so the first semester. And I had a lot of students. We did great. We finished second at um, at our competition this year. We got to go. Uh, the kids were amazing. We were in first most of the time and just got our way uh, uh, just right at the very end uh, to second place, which was such an accomplishment. I had uh, several with uh, perfect scores and almost perfect scores, and everyone worked so hard spelling 750 
words to practice this year. So here is our little certificate that we had uh, for Spell Bowl uh, that the students are getting. They had an insert uh, in their certificate. So these are the uh, fourth and fifth grade Spell Bowl team. And that consisted this year of Elsa Alderfer, Kaylee Baker, Maddie Bowers, Jaden Sisu, Roxy Cox, Scarlett Embry, Maggie Kitchell, Evan Miller, Briley Quinnett, Bryce Quinnett, Hattie Sherfield, Cooper Strickland, Jada Whitkey, Gage Williams. And I also want to give a shout out to Mrs. Kaiser for helping me. She's always uh, so willing to do that and that's so appreciated uh, from us. So congratulations uh, to our Spell Bowl team and I am so proud of you all and I love to recognize you for all the hard work that you did. Okay, thank you to Mrs. Tabler and our Spell Bowl team and congratulations on your great performance this year. We are now going to Mrs. Kaiser for the first year we've been able to have the Hello, my name is Mrs. Kaiser. I'm here to present the awards for Junior Great Books. I'm so excited that Tecumseh had brought this program for an extracurricular this year. What Junior Great Books is, is students read a variety of literature from different cultures and then are asked to think about the text, to ask questions about the text, to go back into the text and to explore it, to extend the reading and thinking skills. It's a great program. And this year, these students worked hard they read outside of school, they came prepared for discussions. So the students that got to participate this year were Maggie Berry, Gage Williams, Jada Whipke, Evan Miller, Savannah Harmon, Lizzie Cox, Roxy Cox, and Scarlett Embry. Again, congrats to those students and thank you for your- Thank you, Mrs. Kaiser, and for all the kids and all the work they did with the Junior Gratebook Program. Now on to our challenge research with Mr. Jennings. Hello, Tecumseh Harrison. Mr. Jennings here. I want to take a moment to acknowledge 13 hardworking students from Tecumseh. They participated in the challenge research project until it was cut short uh, in March, like many things. So I want to take this time to acknowledge Elsa Aldifer, Margaret Berry, Gage Williams, Marlo Thorne, Cohen Davis, Dale Webster, Brody Schatz, Brody Patton, Hattie Sherfield, Olivia Eaton, Bryce Quinnett, Riley Quinnett, and Jaden Sechow. I appreciate their hard work. Uh, they actually are still working on finishing up their report and they're gonna have a video out to me so that I can uh, score that for them. Uh, but again, thank you, goodbye. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jennings, and to the challenge research team. Unfortunately, you didn't get to do your uh, your final showing of your project, but I know you guys put a lot of a lot of energy and effort into that, so thank you. And again, as we always say, it doesn't matter what you do, just get involved in something, um, especially as you transition for our fifth graders out to the middle school. Thank you, and have a great summer.